move on to our next Pokemon. Good check the IVs. Basic stuff. It's just a lot of Pokemon. Hello Marvel community, my name is One Who Gets Bread. I'm actually streaming on two platforms tonight. Um, doing some Pokemon giveaways as we speak right now, but I'm going to continue building up my units again in the game Marvel Contest of Champions this evening before I go to bed uh, So I could be prepared for when the America Chavez arenas come out very soon. So Thank you for joining. Please sit back and relax. Okay, so we've got a Japanese Eevee this time to check out the IVs very quickly. They look like that. Okay, so let's continue. This concludes our first row of Guzzlord. And there's more to come later. Got a Bagon. I was actually planning to do a shiny Bagon Wonder Tree giveaway like this, but using a, a shiny Bagon that was traded to me. Uh, we could always still do that someday, but I thought uh, I think the Guzzler would be cooler. Because here's the Bagon I'd be doing a giveaway of. We could still do it one day, for sure. Or just tonight I want to spice things up with an Ultra Beast. And here we are with the Guzzler. So we're moving on to our next Guzzlord. Okay. Just set my other phone down. Sorry about that. We're back. Thank you. 
I just had deja vu. That has happened before. The Vision versus Spider Ham, and he says the punchline, and I think it was even a four star Vision. I think it even happened on stream. I'm just having some deja vu right now. <laughs> Use the Jabari Panther. I don't. I don't really play with in an arena. Also, um, it's an interesting character. All these new ones that the that um, Kabam made for the game, I think they're pretty cool. Some are better than others, of course. Like any video game with all these characters, I think they all bring something unique to the table. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Let's go with Corvus now. Let's go with Nova. Let's go with Nova. Just got a larvae tar on my other stream. Wow. Okay. Start that in a little bit. You can see up here on my other stream, I'm playing some Marvel Contest of Champions. While we're doing this, we grind on the other game as well. Okay, so we have a Breject. We could see its IVs. Pretty good. Yep. So let's continue. Okay, so now back to the battle. Oops. Mistake. Oh gosh, a lot of mistakes. This bleeds. Might be the end of Professor X. I think it might be. Need to watch out where I place this. Come on. Oh. Come on, is Falter ready? Don't want it to spam it. I don't want her to spam her dexterity and hit her. Yes. Come on. Oh my. Almost. I think we could get her. Yep. We got her. Okay. Oh, two of them. By the same person as well. That was thrilling. Yellow jacket. I think he's still in the quantum realm. I think he survived. The one in the MCU, Darren Cross. Played, I don't know the actor, but I think he's still there. And I have a theory that Taika Waititi is going to direct the, the third Deadpool movie. I just have a feeling that he is. He's in that one skit with Korg and Deadpool. I think, I think he's going to direct the next Deadpool movie. I wonder how they're going to introduce the X-Men. I know the Fantastic Four are probably coming in Phase 4. I don't know. I just know Kevin Feige knows a lot. All of these things already. <laughs> we should go and ask Kevin Feige. Like, I should send him an email. Like, what, what movies are coming out? And like, we'll know like what happens to Ant-Man and stuff. That would be cool. I'd probably 
If I could um, email, like, talk to one of the Avengers cast, I'd talk to Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson. And Paul Bettany. I like Paul Bettany as well. They should give Vision a solo movie. And Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I know he has a TV series, but I think all the Avengers should get at least one solo film. If not a trilogy. I'd like to see more about what happened in the five years that the blimp was still taking place. I want to see more movies during that time period. Because I think the MCU, isn't it in like 2024 right now? Because it went five years from 2019. I think, yeah, they're in 2024. What if you, like, just see your future self in an MCU movie? <laughs> Man, that would be cool. But it also begs the question, how did they do that? They used a quantum something, for sure. Let's go back to one to trade your Pokemon game. Oh, it looks like a steep fight. I might lose might lose my streak on this one. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, whoa. These dudes are powerful. Okay, so Loki can't steal anything. Mm, oh wait, no, if I keep it like that, we'll at least win two of the three fights. So I think we're gonna be good. I think Loki's only dangerous if you have a bunch of buffs. So what's Magon gonna do to this dude? I wanna see. Hyperion is just gonna blast his specials like crazy, I know that. I'm gonna try and bait him, but he won't move. Come on. I wanted to use his special 2, but he won't. He just goes to his special 3 and it's annoying. Oh gosh, Magong is dead. I think this is where we're gonna lose our streak. Magong is usually really good. Like, I like Magong. I think he's cool. He's in a Hyperion beat him in, I guess, a staring contest or something. That's what happened there. Loki's an easy fight. As long as you don't have buffs, I feel. Look at him, he's burning right now. I'm not going to let him uh, go to his special three, though. That's where it's kind of dangerous. It's going to keep burning him, though. Oh, he's at max temperature. Give it to him, Loki. I mean, not Loki. Human Torch. Get him, Chris Evans. And uh, Michael Jordan was also Chris, uh, Human Torch in that one other movie as well. It's pretty cool. Lily puppet look like. Okay, final battle. Winner take all. My streak will win, or will Modok win? Probably. My streak might win a little bit. Silver Centurion's pretty. It's pretty fun to mess around with. Oh, he slowed him down, so now he won't evade, but Modok doesn't evade. Okay, so he doesn't do that much. He's doing good damage, both of them are. Modok's pretty strong, that's just a special one. Scared to see what special two does to poor old Silver Centurion. That's a disparity, but it still did some damage. Oh gosh. I think this will only oh, like, lose. If we do lose this one, I don't mind building my streak up again anyway. I have so much time. It was a good run. Like, what was that? 14 streaks of uh, almost perfect series on all of them? That was. That was interesting. Okay, so now we just lost our, um, our multiplier streak or whatever they call it in this game. Uh, that's fine. You, I, I, you, you, I'm not worried about the Ezerinus that much. It's when it's a new character and I'm crunching on time. That's when I get a little frustrated. But this tonight's just about trying to build up those units back again.
so it's all good. Uh, let's use some of these lower leveled four stars. Like, I know he's gonna get a buff soon, this dude. And Hood, and I forgot the third one. He's gonna... It's Hood, King Groot, and there's one more other one that's getting a buff soon. So, we need to, we need to pay attention to him. And I just got a Yamas. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. You know, there's that one that looks like a coffin, but it evolves from one that has like a mask on it, a golden mask, that Pokemon. I just got that one. I love Copagrigus. I love Neon Mask. I like I like ghost type Pokemon. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, that's still a Yaw Mask. That's still a win. Love Yaw Mask. Okay, so I'm back. Let's see. Let's go to Loki again. We're not finished with him yet. King Groot's gonna fight Tony Stark. I wonder if Groot is still going to be a teenager, or is he going to be adult, an adult in Thor Love and Thunder or Guardians 3? What if he's King Groot in there? That would be interesting. The problem with King Groot is, look at his special one, it doesn't even do anything, and then he has to wait for buffs. And it's a long time, and I don't even know... It grants double the buffs, I guess, but then, even at 4 Furies, he only did, like, not even 200 damage. Oh! This is a, a Phantom. It's a Pokemon that evolves by trading, I just got one. Cool. Now he's evolving. There's the music from the Pokemon being... Trevenant is this tree that's, it's like a ghost tree. It has like spider legs on it, and it has claws, and one eye. It's like a cyclops ghost tree. It's pretty cool. And it wants to learn Shadow Claw. Let's forget an old move. See what it learns. Okay, let's get rid of Faint Attack, or do, yeah, let's get rid of Faint Attack. Okay, Loki. Can't wait to see your second season. Can't wait to, for the second season, Loki. I recently got a Loki t-shirt from Box Lunch, and it's Lucky Charms, but it's Loki. It's a really cool shirt. I've been waiting for it to be in stock for my size, and it finally was, so now I have a Loki shirt from Box Lunch. Okay, so that was a Trevenant. Let's continue. Let's check. Continuing with our Guzzlord. Shiny Pokemon giveaway. Let's see who else we could use. We have some ones still in the bottom. Duped both of these, so yeah, I don't really use them that much. Let's put Black Widow on Team Film. Okay, let's fight Blade. Another movie I can't wait for. Is it, or is it a Netflix TV series? Are they doing a TV series for Blade or are they doing a movie? Can't wait to see Marshila Alita. There's a Blade. I think like DC, EU, like. Warner Brothers DC the movies. I think they're starting to touch on all the supernatural stuff. Like they already announced it's a Tana movie. Um and right now I think the only supernatural things like the MCU had were um you could argue the Infinity Stones, you could argue Thor, but Doctor Strange for sure. Wanda Vision was starting to make her into a mystic character, which was cool. Um, there's the Ghost Rider that one time in S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, hopefully he gets a movie of Robbie Re There's a movie of Robbie Reyes coming out. Hopefully there is one. Or they're planning to do more projects with 
Daniel Luna. He was pretty. He's a wonderful actor. Um, I think. Well, of course, Marvel's ahead in like all the like street level heroes and mystic department heroes and all that. But I think right now it's going to go. It's gonna. It looks like it's gonna blend the vigilante style heroes with like the supernatural stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, some characters that they could add, they could explore, like, maybe some different Sorcerer Supremes, and maybe even bring Ghost Rider or Woodblade, that would be pretty cool. I know they're doing Morbius in the same universe as Venom, which also has, um, that, that Venom, the, what's his name, the Tom Hardy Br Venom. I think in the Venom 2 trailer, there was tombs from the Spider-Man, the Sony Spider-Man one, that's in the MCU, Tom Holland Spider-Man tombs. Adrian Toons as in Vulture. Um, so I think Morbius... What if Morbius appears in whatever project they're making for Blade? That'd be cool. Uh, I think it's Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto I think is Morbius. So he's now both... Um, he's been in both DC and Marvel. I wonder if still... Because that was... I think that was pre-pandemic when they saw that trailer. I wonder if they're still doing it. I think Venom is cool. He's really funny in the new movie. I like what they did with him, but... Oh, well. People have other opinions, but I think I, I like Venom. He's cool. He's, he's totally on, like, the... If they make him, like, an anti-hero where they're going with right now, he'd be, like, on the list of superheroes I'd hang out with. You know, like, go to a restaurant, see a movie, and such. Go on vacation with. Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, let's let's use Venom. I'm talking about him. Let's use him. And Havoc. Apparently, Havoc's a Nexus being in the comics. Like, um. Oh wait, never mind. That might have been. Oh well. Havoc is the brother of. So apparently, also in the comics, Professor X. He kind of like mind wiped. Um, Scott Summers into not remembering his brother was a mutant or something. I saw an article that Professor X isn't actually that nice of a guy. And one of the point, the arguments was, he, well, in the comics, he hid Cyclops' memory of his brother Havoc from him or something like that. So, I don't know. You don't hear a story about Magneto doing that, I don't think. So, it was just strange, I guess. Strange occurrence. Okay, let's continue. Oh, Venom 1. Nice. Great job, Eddie Brock. Or who, are there multiple Venom people who play the that symbiote Venom? I wonder if I think so. There's Flash who also becomes but that's Agent Venom. Uh -huh. Who else has played Eddie Brock? I can't remember. It's one of the old Spider-Man movies. Oh, in Marvel Ultimate Alliance, there is Venom, and then his voice is so funny. He goes, We are ready! That was, that was hilarious. Green Goblin's in there, but he also, like, just chuckles. When you put him on the loading screen, he, like, starts laughing like crazy. He throws a pumpkin bomb, like, off screen from the loading screen, and then he laughs. That's what Green Goblin does in the when you select your characters in Marvel Team Alliance. I want to play the Nintendo Switch version, but I don't know how close it is to the the number one and number two Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I don't have a Switch yet, but I want to get one soon. So we're closing in on the Wonder Trade Pokemon. We're almost finished with them. And now we're at times two on the streak, so we're building it back as well. So things are looking good. You know what? I'm going to do him. These are like the champions, they're like a headache. It's Thing, Korg. 
Colossus sometimes. So I'm gonna do a different version of that team. I'm gonna put Hercules on it. Excuse me, sorry, I'm sleepy. Really sleepy. Okay. Let's let's use a uh, thing as I mean to please. Let's do that. Okay, dokie. Pause this quickly. Start this next one on here. All right. Hercules, man, he, he like taunts them when he's going in. Did you see that? He goes, you're going down. Look at those kicks. It's like kicking rocks off a beast, even though he's not made out of rocks. Oh, we completed, we completed one of his feats. Boom, boom, completed two more. Let's dodge. Okay, now special two. Now. Boom. Look at that. It's like batting practice, and we stunned him. Okay, let's go to our next one. Let's get into it. What's this? Whoa! Look at all those crazy looking... Look at that. That's a lot. Those egg moves. I'm gonna breathe that ghastly. Oh, Venom Pool is the third one that's getting a buff, I think. I think him, uh, him, King Groot, and Hood are getting buffs soon. And I think they confirmed Spider-Man 2099 and Penny Parker. They haven't confirmed Penny Parker, but she was like the second champion that they were releasing. And they just found Spider-Man 2099 in like the code of the game or something like that. Hey man, my name is Quark, that is Meek, we're here beating up Venom Pool. I'm made of rocks, and I'm unblockable and unstoppable, and I just beat up Venom Pool. Oh, sorry Meek, I did not see you there buddy, but you're okay. <laughs> I love Quark so much, he's so funny. Oh, we got a Snubble, and that's a new Pokemon for me, so I just added it to the Pokedex in my game. Okay. Get out of this quickly. Oh wow, we completed that whole page. And look at that. Nice. Okay. 250. 2.5. What did the 5 liter glass say when there's 2.5 liters of milk in it? It said, hey, I'm halfway there. I don't, I don't know the rest of the song. <laughs> but, uh, sorry for my bad joke there. Okay, let's continue. Wee. Oh, why does he have prowess? If I was designing a champion, I'd make like a, I would make a skill champion that like gets prowess, like every hit, every hit that like they block, that like takes skill if they do. 
a, a dexterity and a parry right after each other in the span of like 2.5 seconds or something, you gain one prowess. And then like how about if you dexterity in a row like 5 plus times, you get like 10 prowess. <laughs> They make a skilled domino that has the same, like, attacks, but no, none of her mutant ability, but the damage is, like, it adds, like, bleed and all, like, guaranteed critical bleed, and it's multiplied by how many hits you have on your combo meter or something like that. That sounds like OP, the OP champion in the game. Oh no, wait. Oh no. What? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Time out for seven. So I'm gonna put this on first. And then I'll fight. I'll fight Captain America afterwards. Okay. We saw an interview a lot. Well, my sister and I. He saw an interview where Chris Evans had a mustache. He didn't look like Chris Evans at all. He looked so different. I think that's dangerous that he has five of the kinetic charges. Boom. That was just a variant Captain America that was evil and was employed by the TVA. To like hunt, I don't know, Deadpool down so Massacre stopped him, I guess. Or he was a high, that was like a variant of Captain America that joined Hydra, I guess. For Marvel, what? <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go with Odin. Odin, uh, Giving Tree. Oh wait, no, that's too cosmic, so. What if they have a bunch of mysticals? Oh, not Groot. Let's see. Hit monkey. And... Oh, we, we have a lot up here. Hmm. We have a lot of cosmic ones. Skill we already had. Why is it only... Am I sorting by... Oh, that's why. Because I was sorting by cosmic and skill. That's why. Okay. That's why I was doing that. Okay. Now we have all of them back. Let's go Dragon Man. Rah! Dragon Man. I have one of those, you know, the animal pajamas. They're like really warm and they're like hoodies. But they're like one a onesie, like an animal pajama costume or whatever. I have one of a dragon, so I guess I am the Dragon Man. Right here, let's see. I, I maxed out Dragon Man as a three star. <laughs> he has underwear on. <laughs> okay, back to the battle. That's enough fooling around with Dragon Man. I didn't even see what I got on the trade. <laughs> what is that, a love disc? Oh yeah, it is a love disc. Whoa, look at that. Odin got all... What are those? I don't get the Psycho Man character. You know what? The AI ain't listening to him when he uses control baton, whatever that thing is called. The triangle of faces. It ain't listening to him. It says, okay, throw a block. It doesn't block, and then it says, oh, throw a special attack. The opponent ain't gonna throw a special attack when it says that. The AI just waits for it. And it has three bars, and then it... Kills you in like one hit. Sometimes. But I've heard that there's like stories of people on Reddit that are like, oh, the AI actually waited for um, Professor X to load up all his charges or stuff like that. I don't know, maybe the AI's becoming good. Maybe. Oh, now Dragon Man has red power bars and now he cornered Iceman. Okay, time to go. Rawr. Tail swipe and touchdown. Boom. One health. How? Why is he on one health? Ah! Growled again. Boom. Got him. 
I don't know why he stayed on one health, though. That's interesting. Okay, we're almost done with the giveaways of the Pokemon. Here comes Hitmonkey. Do you know what? I thought he was going to be in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I thought he was going to be in it because of a, in the credits, you could see like the artwork of a mandrill or a monkey in the... In the com, in the when it's showing the credits and it's scrolling through like the folders, you could see artwork of like a monkey on there. So I thought Hit Monkey might be in the Falcon Winter Soldier thing. I just, but then he wasn't, and I don't even know what that symbol was for. Was that for? Me? I don't know. They should bring like all the animal ones in the MCU. They showed, um, what's that? Oh wait, no, that's that's a spoiler. Never mind. Oh. Howard the Duck, that's another one that isn't a spoiler, because I think most people have seen um, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy films, at least. Uh, him and Hitmonkey, that would be a cool movie. Like a maybe a sitcom show, even. Let's go to Apocalypse. Hulk, other version of Hulk Overseer. And let's bring out Hercules again. Let's bring out this other version of him. Hercules. They're gonna fight another hit monkey. Okay, that looks like a good matchup. It's Hercules versus I am Groot. That's Groot for Groot. Or is Groot just for Groot? Who knows? Duolingo should add a Groot course on to their languages that are available for you to learn. I'd take it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh oh, we made him angry. He has five what? Five um five furies and five cruelties. We have one of our own. I like Hercules' animation there. It's pretty cool how they did that. 